A control array is the third fundamental building block that Angular provides for working with forms. Similar to a control group, a control array provides a logical grouping and aggregates the values of each nested control in it, allowing you to track the state of the group as a whole. But one thing unique to a control array is that it's designed to support dynamically adding and removing controls to it. Think phone numbers or email addresses, data that you want to allow users to add more than one of. The order sheet has a section for what this deli affectionately calls weird requests, allowing a user to add line items for each weird request they may have. It's a perfect candidate for a control array. Over in the order sheet component TS file, in the build form method where the order sheet form object is being set up, I'm going to do a quick little refactor here to move this other notes property down near the bottom to make this form model representation similar to how it is in the UI. Now I'll add this property to the object literal for weird request right above the other notes and set it to a call to this dot underscore form builder dot array. The array function takes in an array of controls, so I'll give it an array literal. Now this is different than the set of controls I created for a control group in which I passed in an object literal with properties for each control. The control array is a dynamic list of controls that will change as the user changes it so there are no fixed names for the controls in it, thus the use of the array literal instead of the object literal. I'll add a starting control for this list using the form builder control method. So this gives the form model an array named weird request that will be a collection of values coming from the controls that are in this control array collection at any given moment in time. I'm going to want to allow users to add and remove requests to this list, so while I'm in the code, I'll add a method for each of those events that I can wire up in the template later. Before I add these methods, I'm going to add a property on the class to store a reference to the control array for weird request that I can use in the template to loop out and render the controls in that array. I need to import the control array class from Angular. Again, all of these form goodies are located in at angular slash common. So I add control array to the import list from that. Then up at the top of the class, I add a property named weird request controls and use some TypeScript to set its type to control array. So colon space control array semicolon. And down in the build form method, after the initialization of the order sheet form property, I can set this weird request controls property and make use of the find function that is on the control group object to find a control type by its name. So I call this dot order sheet form dot find, give that a string value of weird requests, the name I used for the control array I created. And the editor is telling me that something's not right. The find method has some type hinting that specifies it returns a type abstract control, which is a base class that control, control group, and control array all inherit from. This is what is causing this notification here. It's TypeScript doing some type checking for me and warning me, but it's easy to deal with. All I need to do is add a type assertion. I can do that by stating that the find method is returning a value as a control array. So I add a space followed by the keyword as, then another space, and a class name control array. Okay, I need to add those event methods. First method will be on add weird request. This is going to be a public method so that it can be used from the template. In this method, I'm going to push a new control onto the weird request controls control array. So I call this dot weird requests controls dot push. And I use the form builders control method to create a new control. The other method I need is on remove weird requests. This method will take in an index of the location in the control array for the item to remove. So I can name that parameter index. And in the body of the method, I can call this dot weird requests controls dot remove at and give it the index. And with that, I have the weird request form representation created and the methods written to help the template dynamically change it as the user changes it. 